So this is the ready for testing version of the ridge type rock ramp fish pass for the Rylands weir. Tail weir as well to make sure we get a bit of tail water in it, otherwise it just runs away too quick. Otherwise this really is 1 to 10 scale version of what it would look like. This is at normal flow, so just to get a good record of it, I'm not sure I'll test what that is, but I think it's about 240 litres a second, just under 100 millimetres over the weir, so it's a bit low. Okay, so this is the Rylands Weir in Lincoln for the Selwyn District Council. Um, so this is the hydraulic design model that we've developed and modified it substantially over the last week to get to the point where it is now, which is now the final arrangement. So I'll run you through the flows in a second. That garden hose connected around the far side gives me exactly the 250 litres a second equivalent. So that's only 250 mils at this scale which is 1 to 10 and uh, I'll run you through it. What I've done here, just to explain, you see that I've put a, some little wedges on each side of the uh, weir crest. This is because of the fish pass guidelines uh, and just to see what, is, what effect this has, but the fish, New Zealand fish pass guidelines say that the weir should be V-notch. Um, the purpose of this is that it would then encourage larger fish to then swim through a deeper current in the middle, right? Uh, which is of course counter to what we really want. That's why I've sort of not done a V-notch, I've sort of done a... They do slope in a bit um, each side and then there's this bit in the middle and I've put some rocks in front of that as well. Flow out of the hose is 240 millilitres per second, which is equivalent to 240 litres per second at full scale. So this represents a normal dry flow condition. And you see that the water at the top, if you, uh, know, you might pause and zoom in, you'll see that it was obviously focused on that central, probably about 700. But at higher flows then that would come through. Those rocks in front also slow it down. But this prevents some of the larger fish from um, actually getting to that point, but also makes a deeper area where smaller fish can swim around the back of those rocks and then we burst of speed they'll get through just in the front here because the water's going this way anyway so this will tell us what's happening you're getting quite a bit of ponding around this section yeah so yeah got quite a bit of green lingering up in here and up in this area before it starts to go down so i'll do that again just to see the sort of speed of it Okay, so here we go with um, with the tank flow as well as the hose, so that equivalent to a one cubic metre per second at the full scale, or a one litre per second here. Uh, I think it's like a uh, it's sort of like a two year flood or something event. Something you might see something like this every year, something similar. See the flows getting quite deeper through here. Bond levels up to six point eight. So that's risen by a few hundred mil and uh, it's still starting to go the full width of the weir obviously now, 200 mil over the weir. I might put a wee drop of colour and then I'll crank it up a bit further. So this is uh, the colour coming down there, you'll see it goes pretty quick eh? Yeah it goes pretty quick down again. So this is now cranked up to about 80% on the tank, so you're starting to get quite a flow through here, you're usually losing it over the top at the back unfortunately um, but certainly the bigger head ponds made a difference level over the weir is now about 230 a bit of green a good bit of green and uh, pretty quick down there there's no real anything so and now that's the maximum flow that i can achieve it's about a one and bigger than a one in ten year flood you can see uh again pond level 6.97 7.1 maybe We're getting up to 300 millimetres over the weir. Certainly depth down here is varying. Um, re really the whole weir has now become choked and is not really performing as a weir at all. And you see it's all very quick. Yeah. Okay. 
There we go. Done. Debris flow. See what happens. Right, that sort of gets rid of it, doesn't it? Oh, wait a few. Oh yeah, that's back to normal flow. 